Good morning, good morning. Today I'm going to share with you a few things that you need to know when you come to Bali. Just a few things to make you, let's say, prepared when you arrive and you're not a little bit lost. I'll just give you seven points on uh, what type of religion they have, food, and cute things like this. The national language here in Indonesia is Bahasa Indonesia. And in Bali, they also have their own dialect that is Bahasa Balinese. Bahasa literally just means language. So Bahasa Indonesia just means Indonesian language. Bahasa Balinese means Balinese language. So they speak two of these languages. But if you are a tourist and you're going to all these uh, touristic areas, don't worry, everybody pretty much speaks English in these uh, touristic areas and you can get by easily. So when you come here, you have one word. I can just teach you one word in Indonesian. That is terima kasih, which means thank you. And thank you is the first word you should learn everywhere you go in the world. So terima kasih. So in Indonesia, they use the Indonesian rupiah. And if you have a one US dollars, you get 15,000 rupiahs. And if you have a hundred dollars, you get 1.5 million rupiahs. And that can take you really far when you come to Bali. This being said, it's also very easy to spend that money super quick. Bali can be very cheap, but it could also be very expensive. And when you have that much cash on your hand, you don't really think about it and you think everything is super cheap. So you keep spending. So watch your money while you're here. So you don't end up spending way too much money than you expected to. And if you're interested in personal finance, financial freedom, be sure to check out my channel here on YouTube where I talk all things financial independence. What's your channel name? Tandon Dovu. I thought you'd tag it right here. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, while you're traveling, do not forget to get your uh, health insurance. I normally use Safety Wing. I will leave the link down here below so you can get your uh, health insurances. Traditional clothes. The traditional clothes in Bali is uh, very beautiful. It's very elegant. Oh, this beautiful girl is Esti and she's wearing the traditional uh, Balinese clothes. I'm wearing kabaya. Yeah. This is for uh, the kabaya, uh -huh. slender, and common. And common. Okay, and the combination together, what do you call it? Bajuada Bali. Bajuada Bali. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. So Thank much. you. <laughs> this is Alit. Uh, Alit uh, works here, but he's going to be a sweetheart and helps me tell you what he is wearing because he looks very beautiful. <laughs> and his traditional Balinese clothes. Alit, hello. Hello. You look very beautiful today with your traditional clothes. Thank you so much. Uh, can you tell me what uh, it's called? Uh, yeah. This one is udang. This is traditional of Hindu. Uh -huh. And this is the sarong. Okay. And this one is t-shirt. That's a t-shirt, but yeah. uh, a shirt. But normally and traditionally, you don't wear the shirt. Yes. It's just you wear the udang, udang and the and sarong. The sarong. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> These outfits are super beautiful, elegant, so colorful and so classy. And what I also love about this is that here in Indonesia, uh, at least twice a week, uh, everyone that works, it doesn't matter if they're working in the office, in the restaurants or any other type of job that they have, they have to wear the traditional clothes twice a week. And I think that's very beautiful and keeps the tradition going and uh, not make it disappear. Having a little break with my favorite fruit. This is rambutan. And it's season now, so I'm a happy girl with my rambutan. Mm, look at this beauty. Look at this beautiful. Oi! Oi! I'm not escaping me. Bali has two seasons. The wet season, that is from November to March. And it's so beautiful when it rains. And the dry season from April to October. I love Bali. Five minutes ago it was raining and now ba -ba, sun shining. As you can imagine, since I love rain, my favorite season is the wet season. And don't worry, it's not always like raining, raining. It is raining, raining, but then it rains and then boom, sun. It's beautiful. All in five minute difference, okay? No problem. 
Indonesia is a most dominantly Muslim country, but here in Bali, the religion is Hindu. So part of the attraction or part of the things that you'll be doing or seeing or that makes Bali extra special is the Hindu ceremonies. They're so colorful and so beautiful to see that uh, it's just amazing. So when you come here, that's also something that you will be experiencing. They have a traditional drink called Arak, but don't get crazy and drink lots of it because it can get you bilipi very, very fast. The alcohol level is unknown because it's brewed at the house or, you know, locally. And nobody really knows how much alcohol it has. So if you're going to indulge yourself with a traditional drink, make sure that you take very little amount. In traditional Balinese food, you find great selection of food. Uh, starting from the famous nasi goreng is fried rice and mi goreng is a noodle. Soups like soto ayam, bakso, and of course my favorite, nasi champur. Nasi champur is a rice with different uh, sauces, just like in Ethiopia we have injera bawat, which is our injera comes like it's a flatbread with different sauces. This is the same thing except for uh, the base is not flatbread injera, it is uh, rice. You have different uh, choices of rice from brown, uh, white and yellow rice and then you have different ty different type of sauces and there is variety of different types of sauces for starting from uh, meat vegetables to seafood and if you are vegan they also have for vegan so it's really good their food is very diverse and it's very delicious so if you come here definitely try out all these foods and get your nazi champur your nazi goreng and megoreng and all of that something you will also notice is in bali they don't give you a knife that you get a fork and a spoon and that's how you use you just use your spoon like a knife to cut things of course the meal is not complete without a nice kalapa kalapa muda which means a young coconut well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye! Since you made it up till here, here is a beautiful Balinese dance.